So the next thing I need to figure out is where the bump stops are going to live on the front of the vehicle. I think I am going to use a slapper arm design again, but there's a lot of stuff jammed in here in the front. So I need to be really careful about where I place these. Luckily, I left myself enough room on that front portion of the A-arm, the skinny portion, where there was plenty of space for bump stop to live without interfering with the steering or the axles or the rest of the suspension components. So I'm just going to set up some limit mates here. So I have a limit mate on the angle of the A-arm, and then I have a limit mate on the distance of the bump stop with respect to its own housing. And then I just need to figure out how to mount that slapper arm in there. And the main thing I'm doing on this one is just reducing the length because the slapper arm's mounted in a slightly different location than the previous design. And there's a little bit less clearance, so the slapper arm's going to be a little bit shorter. And I'm adding a bearing bronze sleeve bushing in here because there's no rod ends. Since this arm only moves up and down, it doesn't pivot spherically, but it still needs a bearing surface. So it's not just steel on steel. So the bearing bronze is a good application for this so that it will move. These are internally lubricated. So it'll allow the two parts to move with respect to each other really smoothly. I have this slapper arm in at a really nice angle. And so it's going to cycle smoothly and the bump stop's going to land on the right spot on the arm where there's lots of meat of material and lots of strength. And there's still enough clearance on the tall knuckle if I just reduce the length of the slapper arm and it's all cycling properly and it's looking great. So the front suspension is almost done. All we need to do next is the upper control arm. 